hi guys welcome to my channel this is strange um obviously i've done my makeup already but this video is just me doing my makeup talking about myself kind of introducing myself to those who don't know me in real life so yeah um i'm gonna warn you now i ramble a bit in this video like it is really weird for me to be sitting down and talking like this so at times i'll get nervous i might get awkward but again i just have to remember that this is my first video and i'll probably look back on this like damn could have done better but you know this is not really a makeup tutorial but in the future i probably will do a makeup tutorial this is the introduction i should probably just get into it so let's get into the video all right so we're gonna get into it usually i'll put on my face cream first so to introduce myself for those watching who don't know me um i'm 20 i'll be 21 in october which is kind of crazy because time has just gone so fast i'm currently at uni third year is approaching in september which again is crazy i can't believe how fast the time has gone um i'm gonna be really sad when i finish because i'm gonna miss everyone but you know i'm really glad i went because i've had such a great time i've learned a lot especially about myself and i've just overall enjoyed the experience so yeah for like what what am i even saying <laughs> personal kind of facts is people who watch this who do know me i love horror i say this all the time i i don't know exactly why i love horror so much or why that genre always stood out to me the most i think it's because the emotions you get out of it is kind of different to all the other genres like the fear and just the way we react i think it's kind of interesting to be so that's kind of a big reason as to why i might love it i say might because i kind of don't know myself that's probably why i love halloween so much like i generally do i will start celebrating halloween now even though it's august but people celebrate christmas early so why not celebrate Halloween early, you know? I'm gonna do my eyebrows because they're looking a bit non-existent. I'm not gonna mention every product that I'm using. If anyone is curious, I will put it down below in the description. But I'm just gonna carry on doing it. With my makeup, I kind of go full out or just don't put anyone at all because I'm not into natural makeup. It's either go on or go home, you know? I, can't, I wanted to start YouTube because it's something I wanted to do for like a couple years now. I've just never really had the balls to do it. Um, because I always thought, oh, I'm gonna be shy and awkward and not know what the hell I'm talking about. I mean, in this video, I'm probably gonna be really awkward and, you know, I'm not gonna have this set up for much longer because I'll be going back to uni at the end of this month and I'll make a much better background than this but the reason that I kind of wanted to start YouTube was because I wanted to put everything I'm passionate about onto this channel so that obviously is makeup, fashion clothes, I absolutely love styling my outfits and just my life to be honest just I'll probably definitely vlog a lot of moments in my third year of uni because I'd like to look back on these videos as memories um I think that would be really cool so that's something I definitely want to do I would love to incorporate gaming into my channel at some point to stream I'd probably need a pc and I can't really afford a pc right now if I'm honest yeah I'm I am glad that I've started this channel, you know, I've I've made my account, I've shared it for people to follow me and if I decide, actually no, I don't want to do this, I'm scared, you know, I wouldn't want to let anyone down, 
because I know everyone's excited to see my content, which I'm grateful for. I'm grateful for everyone watching right now. It's scary, I'm not gonna lie. If anyone's, you know, wanting to start a channel, I would recommend just do it. At the end of the day, some people are gonna judge no matter what, you know, people you don't know and things. But you just gotta move past that. I'm not doing it just, you know, to get views or, you know, my intention to begin with isn't for this to earn any money. If it does eventually become a job, that's great. But for now, it's kind of my way of expressing myself online. But yeah, that's kind of an insight as to why I started. Um, I hope people enjoy my content, me just sitting here and talking about myself and doing makeup. Obviously future videos will be more interesting than this. Eyebrow looks a little crazy right now, but there we go. You gotta trust the process of makeup. That's the thing I've learned is the beginning or the start of your makeup will look a bit crazy. And then in a few minutes, it'll we'll start coming together. That's what I've learned, you know? Makeup is a learning process. It took me quite a few years to get to this stage. Other facts about me, I, I don't really know. I guess I could just talk about what content, content, Jesus, can't even speak. Content I would like to do in the future would, like I said, be fashion, beauty, and lifestyle. Um, but also gaming. But then I would love to probably do like videos of like certain horror films I like, like recommendations, favorite horror books. I'm gonna definitely talk about books on my channel because I'm a creative writing student. Like I'm obviously gonna talk about books and writing. I'll probably just do funny videos like with people, obviously, if they're comfortable being on my channel. I'll do videos of friends when I'm back at uni. Probably drinking videos because <laughs> What else would it be? I'm just gonna neaten up my eyebrows now. If anyone has any like suggestions of what I should do, you can just comment it down below. I would love to have some ideas. I kind of don't want to follow what everyone else is doing, you know, especially the YouTubers I watch, like I love their content because they kind of make it unique to their channel. So that's definitely what I want to do. <laughs> I did my voice go funny then. Obviously I'm doing it in front of my phone right now. It's not the ideal setup. Um, the lighting is great, thankfully. But in the future, I will want to save up for a proper camera. Probably some ring lights as well. When I go back to uni, I'm definitely excited to change my background another fact about me I'm obsessed with the color purple so again people that know me definitely know that I usually just take a what do you call this a spoolie kind of brush and just blend out the front of my eyebrow I think in my videos you'll definitely see what kind of person I am as in clumsy a mess. I will become a decent YouTuber eventually. I'm a beginner. I'm awkward. I'm shy. I don't know what I'm talking about half the time. I'm gonna be real with you. Usually for my everyday kind of makeup, not that I wear every day, but it's like my go-to kind of makeup. I do like it to be kind of glam because I don't like to look the same all the time if anyone else can relate. Like I like to switch up my makeup and do things I've never done before just to get out of my comfort zone. But most of the time my anxiety won't let me do that. <laughs> I'm scared people are gonna look at me and stare at me but at the end of the day, who 
cares, you know? Something I'm definitely starting to learn is that I shouldn't let my anxiety control me, especially with this channel. I was so tempted to be like, you know what? I'm gonna suck at this. What's the point of me even starting this channel and creating videos that might be boring to people who are just, the thoughts were racing through my head. But again, I don't wanna let people down. I don't wanna let myself down. So here I am filming myself struggling to open a flipping eyeshadow palette oh my god there we go if anyone can kind of understand or relate it's hard it's definitely hard um but this is something i know i'll definitely enjoy so i'm gonna do it also another thing if anyone has any filming editing skills they would like to share with me i'd appreciate that because i don't know if i'm doing this right Obviously, to begin with, I have to use my phone, otherwise, what, am I, what else am I going to use? Also, my lips are dry. Oh, it's in my pocket. That's handy. This heat. Oh, oh my gosh. It's making my lips really dry. And it's actually making my skin dry, and I usually have oily skin. I don't like it. I don't like this heat, I don't. Um, I put this on. If she's watching this, she knows she got me this. Let's see if she knows. Some of my favorite YouTubers are, like beauty-wise, uh, Jordan Lipscomb. She's beautiful. Um, her makeup is always so good, like she always changes it up. I think she's kind of the main one like the main person to inspire me with all, with all of this so yeah Anastasia Kings North she is also amazing she does vlog style content as well which again that kind of inspired me Soph used to be Soph, Soph does nails now Soph does life um I've watched her for a long time I watched her even before Jordan I think and yeah I think she's just funny, she's different because she's kind of just funny and cute. I'm just deepening up my eye now. I mean, I'm speaking like this as if it's a makeup tutorial, it's not a makeup tutorial. I'm just gonna be myself. I can't really force anything, I can't force anything I'm saying, you know, anything I'm saying comes straight to my head. <gasps> I'm good. Insects keep flying out the window, like full on hit the window. Are they okay? I think this heat is getting to them. What's the mood? Mascara honestly doesn't matter to me because I put on fake eyelashes anyway and cover them up, but I just do this so they blend in with the lashes. It's time for eyelashes. I cannot go without fake eyelashes. They just make a hell of a difference in my opinion. Primark, three pound. If you wanna wear lashes, go and get these. They're literally only three pound. Which to me is still, oh, it's got glue all stuck to it. That's really gross. I'm gonna sit here and just drown in my own sweat. I'm joking, I'm not gonna do that. I'm literally just waiting for my eyelashes to dry. Let's attempt this. It usually goes well, but it might not go well because... Do you know what I've just done? Put the wrong one on. Oh, I'm such an idiot. I'm actually such an idiot. I generally get mad at myself. Like, I'm such an idiot. Let's try that again. I'm just gonna blame it on the heat. The heat is getting to my head, okay? And I need some water, but drink water, kids. It's really good for your skin. Just saying. Look at the difference, like, I love them. Like, I can't not wear eyelashes with makeup. I just can't. There we go. 
time for skin foundation all that stuff um primer i always use a hydrating primer because it's so cooling and this one is running out come on i'm gonna be sat here for about six years oh don't worry came up so hydrating cooling My nose is running, I don't know why. It's the time foundation. My favorite part. This is Primark foundation, three pound. Like Primark are good. Eyelashes, three pound, foundation, three pound. What are you waiting for? Go get it. I foundation stuff. It's either full coverage or I wear none at all. Oh God, hair, get out the way, please. Oh my God, why am I so dumb? Right, goodbye, you're going behind now, bye. Oh, oh I forgot to wet my sponge. I am so lazy, I literally can't be asked, but I need to. Hello again. I am back with a damp sponge, which I should have done in the first place. And blend. I don't know if this lighting kind of washes me out or makes. Oh god, I keep doing that. Oh, you can actually see the foundation in my hair. <sighs> Jesus, there is a lot of foundation in my hair. But oh my. I don't know if you can see, but look. Oh, what have I done? Next is concealer. I usually don't do my makeup that often. I mean, maybe a couple times a week. Obviously when I'm back at uni, I'll probably be like almost every day. But like when I'm at home doing nothing, I won't put on makeup because what's the point? You know, it's good to give your skin like a break sometimes um because you know you do put quite a bit of products on your face if you're like me you put quite a bit of makeup on so it's sometimes good to just kind of let your skin breathe because i used to find when i when i used to wear makeup every single day obviously when it's a few years ago when i just started i never cleaned my face properly so i had very very textured skin it was nice um i always used to get spots like i never used to get little spots it was always just big big spots and i was like hmm i wonder why because i don't clean my face and i used to wear makeup like almost every day but you know it actually took quite a long time to get rid of the texture which was annoying, like a couple years. Um, here I am now though, my skin. Skin is looking pretty good, not gonna lie. I'm really scared that half this video I've covered my face with this. I hope I haven't. I'm sorry if I have, but I think really I can see into the mirror. I literally said earlier this is not a makeup tutorial and I've basically turned it into a makeup tutorial. Oh wow, you're kind of getting to know me just by watching me, I guess. Does that even make any sense? Well, this is a risky part, okay? Cream contouring my nose. I know. I know some people watching this but like, you don't need to do that. Wow. I kind of like the way it looks when I do it. My leg is sweaty, I have to put my leg up. We're good. We're good. Right. It's time for powder because I'm an oily mess and I need powder. My nail literally just flew. Like it actually just flew. <sighs> of course that happens. Anyways. Talking about Halloween because... I'm obsessed with Halloween. 
I was also thinking about when I do buy Halloween decorations. I know I have, I have many already. And I again know people watching this and like, you don't need more Halloween decorations. That's true, but I can't help it, okay? And you know, it's near my birthday. I kind of like to celebrate Halloween and my birthday together. Um, so when I do buy Halloween decorations, I think I'm gonna do a little a little haul. If anyone doesn't know what a haul is, it's just where I show you everything that I got, basically. It might sound boring, but it's actually pretty exciting. I also feel like I'm not center. Oh. Um, Jesus, I'm at your own place. Blush. I feel like it's going to be fun to edit this because it generally seems like a messy video. It's my first video where I'm sitting down and talking, basically to myself, but look, I'm talking to you guys, but... To me, it's like I'm just talking to myself, which is why I said it feels a bit strange, but here we are. In terms of like when I'll be uploading, I don't really know. Maybe once a week, I think, would probably be the super warm amount because, you know, when I go back to uni, I feel like trying to upload twice a week would be way too much. I don't want to be stressed. So I think once a week will be fine. Um, and plus I'll be able to do a lot more kind of content. Like I'll have a lot more ideas when I'm back at uni because my friends will be there. I've already said to them that I would love to do videos with them of us just kind of doing our makeup or playing like a drinking game and having a few drinks, which I think would be fun. Hopefully you like my content, like and subscribe, thank you. <laughs> Another random fact about me, but my favourite animal is a sloth. If you want to, you know, get on my good side, get me anything to do with sloth. <laughs> I'm joking, but no, I generally do love sloths. When I go back to uni, I'll show you my room and you'll see that I really like sloths. Um, it was a bit of an obsession at one point. Yeah, it's kind of hard to come up with original content nowadays with YouTube, because you know, a lot of ideas have been taken. Um, a lot of YouTube channels, like prank channels now, which I don't know if I agree with, because, you know, the pranks can get too much. But that is another thing. Oh my God. That is another thing. Um, I don't put makeup on to change the way I look because I'm not confident. Like, I like the way I look without makeup, but obviously, as I said, makeup is like a form of art. So, you know, it's kind of a way of expressing myself. I enjoy it. It is technically my hobby. It'll end up on my nose. Before when I mentioned this setup, isn't the best, I know. Um, it could look more professional, but um, with like where I am right now, I don't think I could get any better lighting in my house. I actually think I finished my makeup. <laughs> it's like I don't even know myself. <laughs> but I actually, I've actually quite enjoyed sitting down and doing this. I was really nervous. Like I was thinking about this yesterday. Like, oh my gosh. I'm really scared about doing it. What if I'm really awkward and I'm just not able to just be myself on camera? I'm done. No, I'm not. I'm not done because I usually add fake freckles. I did not mean to make them that big. What have I done? What have I actually done? Blend. My 
favourite part now. Setting spray. So refreshing. This is the finished look. And I think I've said everything about myself that I need to. Um, I might have rambled. I might have repeated myself quite a lot but you know this is something that I'm gonna have to get used to um I never usually introduce myself so here we are I'm embarrassing and I apologize but thank you for watching because you know you've you've come this far so I appreciate it I will definitely be doing makeup related videos in the future but i'll kind of go through what i'm doing kind of give tips and tricks blah 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 like i know what i'm talking about but if you want to take advice from me you can so i think i've about covered everything to do with me um i think you can kind of get a sense of who i am just by watching me do this video but i'm sure over the next few videos and with my content and stuff you'll definitely get a sense of who I am as a person so for those who don't know me in real life um you'll get to know me through my videos it's fine to everyone who has subscribed already thank you I appreciate it but yeah thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video bye